What an awesome day. How in the world do you prepare for a day like this? To really use it for what it was meant to be. Well, let me tell you the way the great Khatam Sofer prepared. And before, I need to tell you who he was. The Khatam Sofer's son, the Khatam Sofer, writes that when he was a little boy on the high holidays by Birkat Kohanim, when he would go under his father's talet by Birkat Kohanim, he was able to hear the singing of Malachi Hasharet under his father's talet. That's who the Khatam Sofer was. This great rabbi, the Gadol Hador of his generation, the great Khatam Sofer, who wrote on all of Shas and all of Chumash, and his works in Torah reverberates in every yeshiva, in every study hall in the world. Do you know how he spent his Erev Yom Kippur? He turned to his Rebetzin an hour or two before Kal Nidre, when the family was sitting down to have Sudam Afseket, and he said, hold the meal, hold the food, hold everything. Quickly, he turns to the Rebetzin, you got to go to the other side of town, to the Almana. And you got to give her the money. Her child, the orphan, is getting married in a month. You have to give her the money for her child. Quickly, run. We need this done now. And the Rebetzin ran to the other side of town, gave the money to the widow, and the widow was ecstatic. She comes back. Now everything's late. Quickly they ate. Quickly they finished running out the shul to Kal Nidre. And the students came to the Khatam Sofer and they said to him, Rabbi, the wedding is not for another month. Why did you have to do this now? Kal Nidre, Sudam Afseket, all the mitzvot, you, you're going into the holiday. Said the Khatam Sofer, I made a cheshbon nefesh And I went, I was coming into Yom Kippur, I didn't yet have a zichut that I felt I can bank on. That was something that I can come into the great Yom HaKadosh with. So I needed right now to get that great zichut, the one that I can bank my whole year on. And that's why I sent the rabbits in, even on the expense of the Su'udam Afseket and the entire preparations of the great day of, Yom, of Erev Kippur. Ladies and gentlemen, the Khatam Sofer couldn't find a zechut that he's going to bank on for Yom Kippur for the year. The Khatam Sofer, the Gadol Ador, he learned day and night. The Malachi Asharet sang under his talet. He was the undisputed giant of his generation. He had Torah. He wrote on all of Shas and all of Chumash. He had Torah and then some. What does he mean? I think what he meant was more than any other zikhut in the world. When it comes to Yom Kippur, the biggest zikhut that we're looking to get Hashem to go into the mode is the zikhut of Rahamim. We need major mercy to overtake and overcome the deen. He was looking for mercy. Yes, Torah, he had tremendous zikhuyot, chesed, he had every, but mercy... I need to start with mercy so that Hashem continues the next 24 hours with mercy so that I can, I can clearly beat the din. He went and found the biggest act of mercy. The widow, the orphan, the aniim. I'm collecting for the aniim, talmidei chachamim, and I'm collecting for the widows and the orphans. Please, Rabotai, on Erev Yom Kippur, do the biggest act of mercy and come in with a major zikhut and start the rahamim first. And Hashem will continue the rahamim for the next 24 hours and the next 24 months. You can slip an envelope under my door, 2219 E7, between you and V. Or you can write back with your credit card information. You can make checks out to the shul. You can make checks out Bezat Hashem to Magen Abraham. We could use the money for the rabbis, for Talmidei Chachami Aniim, for the Almanot that we're going to be giving to, to the orphans we're going to be giving to, and Hashem will see the mercy and He'll bring the mercy on us. Gemar Hatimatova.